Two years ago, on a sunny day, while at the souk, my eyes were caught by those of Ramam, the most handsome man I have ever met. After that day, I couldn't help but notice his presence whenever I went to the marketplace, and I was thrilled when I learned that his appearance at the bazaar was not a coincidence. One day, he suggested we meet in secret, and I said yes. And as the months went by, our relationship deepened. What is more, out of our love, a new life started to grow. Our happiness did not go unnoticed, and before long, envious eyes gave way to malicious tongues. Let's ignore these people, Raman and I said to each other, and trust in Allah's mercy. <laughs> Naive, young, and in love, perhaps. But we thought your holiness was on our side. Raman and I shared affection and trust and a deep respect for each other. How could Allah disapprove? Why would he? When I was 16, my father broke the news to me in the kitchen. You are going to marry Aziz, he said. He's from a virtuous family and will take good care of you. My wedding day was more of a celebration of my family than of mine. Once in my marital home, my husband approached me. Ever since I recoiled from his touch, I am repulsed by his smell, even if he has just had a bath. Yet, O oh Allah, I obey his commands sanctioned by your words, and I let him take me because each time I push him away, he quotes you. They ask thee concerning women's courses, say, they are a hurt and a pollution. So keep away from women in their courses and do not approach them until they are clean. But when they have purified themselves, ye may approach them in any manner, time or place ordained for you by Allah. For Allah loves those who turn to him constantly. And he loves those who keep themselves pure and clean. Most high, 
You say that men are the protectors and maintainers of women because you have given the one more strength than the other. I feel at least once a week the strength of my husband's fist on my face. <laughs> Most high. Life with my husband is hard to bear, but I submit my will to you. My husband supports me from his means, and therefore I am devotedly obedient and guard in my husband's absence what you would have me guard. But my husband, maintainer and protector, fears disloyalty and ill conduct on my part. He accuses me of being ungrateful to him. He always finds a reason to doubt my loyalty to him. And after a series of threats and warnings, he starts to beat me. Oh, Allah. Most gracious, most merciful. Just as you demand of the believing woman, I lower my gaze and guard my modesty. I never display my beauty and ornaments, not even my face or hands. I never strike with my feet in order to draw attention to my hidden ornaments, not even at parties. I never go out of the house unless it is absolutely necessary, and then only with my father's permission. When I do go out, I draw my veil over my bosom, as you wish. Once in a while, I sin. I fantasize about feeling the wind through my hair or the sun on my skin, perhaps on the beach. And I daydream about an extended journey through the world, imagining all the places and peoples out there. Of course, I shall never see these places or meet many people because it is so important for me to guard my modesty in order to please you, O oh Allah. So, I cheerfully do as you say and cover my body from head to toe, except while I'm in the house with family members only. Generally, I'm really happy with my life. However, Things have changed since my father's brother, Hakim, is staying with us. He waits till I'm at home alone and comes to my room and <laughs> he orders me to do things to him, to touch him in places most intimate. So since he's with us, I took to the habit of wearing the veil inside in order to deter him. That doesn't stop him, though. <laughs> Twice now, he unveiled me, ripped my inner garments, and raped me. And when I told my mother, she said she would take it up with my father, but my father ordered her and me not to question his brother's honor. I experience pain each time my uncle comes to see me. I feel caged like an animal waiting for slaughter, and I'm filled with guilt and shame and and i feel abandoned yet surrounded by family and friends oh allah <laughs> hakim is gone now that he knows that i'm pregnant that has killed my faith and love is in your holy book. Faith in you, submission to you, feels like self-betrayal. Oh Allah, giver and taker of life, you admonish all who believe to turn towards you in order to attain bliss. I have done nothing my whole life but turn to you. And now that I pray for salvation, under my veil, you remain silent, like the grave I long for.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.